Hello everyone. This video is about the neural regulation of respiration. Let us first look at the centers involved in respiration. The pons and the medulla contain centers that are responsible for the regulation of our respiration. The pons contains two centers, the pneumotaxic center and the apneustic center. The medulla contains the pre-Botzinger complex, the dorsal and ventral respiratory group. Main action of the pneumotaxic center in the pons is to inhibit respiration. And the apneustic center, which is also in the pons, stimulates respiration. The pre-Botzinger complex in the medulla is the pacemaker. The dorsal respiratory group makes respiration smooth and the ventral respiratory group is involved in forceful expiration. Now let us look at how inspiration is initiated. Any action in our body is initiated by the pacemaker, which in this case is the pre-Botzinger complex. The pre-Botzinger complex is the pacemaker which gives the signal to initiate inspiration. The signal first goes to the spinal cord, especially nerve roots C3, C4 and C5 which make up the phrenic nerve. The phrenic nerve is the main motor supply to the diaphragm. The phrenic nerve stimulates the diaphragm contraction which brings about inspiration. The pre-Botzinger complex also stimulates the apneustic center in the pons which stimulates respiration. The apneustic center then stimulates the dorsal respiratory group. This dorsal respiratory group is what makes the inspiration smooth. Now obviously in inspiration the lungs stretch. So when the lung tissue is stretched beyond a limit, termination of respiration begins. Respiration is terminated by the pneumotaxic center and vagal efferents from the lung. These two structures send inhibitory signals to the apneustic center. Now when the stimulatory apneustic center is inhibited, inspiration is also terminated.